The Lone Ranger. What's the matter, Tano? Look, Kimasabi. Silky Carter, one of the West's most daring outlaws, was released from federal prison this week after serving a prolonged sentence for robbing the Fort Adams payroll. Him steal from the United States, that plenty bad. Yes, Tano. When a man cheats and robs the government, he robs every man, woman, and child in America. It's a crime against all of us. The papers say him still have money hidden. Yes, at the time, a lot of people thought he buried the money on Thunder Mountain, where he was captured. Him free now, maybe him go get money. First, he'll have to get rid of the federal agents who'll be watching him. You think him can do that? Carter's very clever. We'll head for Thunder Mountain and have a look around. Oh, good. Must be nearing the summer by now. I had no idea Thunder Mountain was so desolate as you. No, I didn't. Going out through to Kingston? I... Please, I don't mean to be rude. I know there's been no one for you to talk to, but I just can't make conversation. Sorry. Here they come. Let's go. Set you, man. There are only two of them. Let's take it easy, lady. We're not after you. Send them on. We've got what we wanted. Right. Ah! Here's some dirt, is he? The boss will skin us if he is. Yeah, he'll come around. Give me a hand. Good. Driver's been hit. Horses run away. Come on. Some bandits. Well, you're masked. I'm no bandit, believe me. Go on. Well, it all happened so fast, I hardly know. Kimasabe. Oh, yes, Sano. Driver, him dead. How horrible. Those bandits, how many were there? Two, I think. They dragged the man out of the coach. Well, what man? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. The other passenger, he was wounded. They took him out of the coach and then sent it on. So it was the man they were after. Can you describe him, Mrs... Mrs. Nelson. No, I'm afraid I didn't particularly notice him. He looked like a gambler. Tall and, uh, and dark. I see. Tyler will drive you back to the Summit Way Station. It isn't far. You'll be perfectly safe. Uh, you go after them alone? I'll go back to the scene of the attack and see if I can pick up their trail. Wait for me at the way station. Adios. But I never thanked him. Uh, him never wait for thanks.
she's gone, she's gone. The finest one I've seen this summer. I'll never forgive myself. I'll never forgive myself. It's all your fault, too, creeping up that way. I'm sorry I startled you. What'd you lose? What I lose? What I lose? <laughs> Merely the most magnificent tarantula I've seen all summer. Tarantula? Yeah. Well, don't just stand there, man. Help me find her. Help me find her. What do you want with a tarantula? What do I want with a tarantula? Hmm. I'm specializing in them this summer. Oh, she's gone. I'll, I'll never, never see her again. It's all your fault, too. Oh, heavens to Betsy. You're, you're, you're wearing a mask. If you're a bandit, Mr. Bandit, I assure you I have no money, not a penny. But I have some choice spiders here, if you like little spiders. I'm not a bandit, and I'm not particularly fond of spiders. Oh, and why, may I ask, are you not particularly fond of spiders? Even the poisonous spiders, like the black widow and the tarantula, won't bother if you know enough to leave them alone, leave them alone. You obviously don't leave them alone. Of course I don't leave them alone. Arachnologists or anyone uh, studying spiders <laughs> knows enough to take sensible precautions, particularly when handling anything as poisonous as the tarantula. I believe in taking precautions myself. Has anyone passed this way recently? Passed this way? Oh, no, not a soul, not a soul. Why? Well, I'm looking for the men who held up the stage this morning. Their trail disappeared. Held up the stage? My goodness, that's awful, that's awful, that's very bad. No, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I haven't seen a soul, I haven't seen a soul. Say, that's a nice-looking bay horse you're riding over there. Mind if I look him over? Oh, not at all. Go right ahead. Help yourself. Uh, he's a very intelligent animal. He is. Help yourself. Yes, His name's I'm Llewellyn. I'm sure he is. Uh, I, I think you'll like him. Good heavens, I hope you don't think I had anything to do with the robbery, anything to do with the robbery. I told you I believed in precautions. At least I know now that your horse wasn't involved in the holdup. Well, thanks anyway. I'm sorry about your tarantula. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> My name's Hagen, uh, Professor Hagen. Professor? Thanks. I'm, I'm stopping off at the way station. Drop in, see me sometime, drop in, see me sometime. I may do that. Adios. Adi, oh, <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. Get Silky. Yeah, he's inside. Is he ready to talk? Well, not exactly. We uh, we had a little shooting down at the stage. He got hurt. Hurt? Supposing you had killed him, you fool. We'd never get our hands on that payroll money. Well, it ain't that serious. He's he's out cold now, but in time he'll come around. Time? We haven't got time. Coming here, I ran into a masked man trying to trail you two. A uh, masked man? Yes. I had time to go into my spider hunting act. He didn't suspect me, but he's after that money just as much as we are. Does he know we've got Silky? Perhaps he does. Come on. We've got to make Silky talk. Get some cold water, Matt. We'll have to bring him around. Right. Come on, Silky. Snap out of it, boy. You're going to tell us why. Hey. This ain't Silky. What? You fools, you've got the wrong man. Oh, you're crazy. He was the only man on the stage. This ain't Silky. Then who is he? How should I know? Did you search him? Sure. Couldn't find nothing. Not even a scrap of paper. Get rid of him. You mean, uh... Yes. You can bury him in the woods. Then what? I'm going to find out why Silky wasn't on that stage. You two fellas wait here. You find bandits, Kimasabi? No, Tano. They covered their trail too well. Is Mrs. Nelson still at the way station? I'd like to talk to her. Her spent night there. No driver for stage. What's the station like? It's plenty lonely. Nobody lived there but men and squall at one place. Someone else is staying there. Tano, I'd like you to investigate an arachnologist. A what? A man who studies spiders. Why him do that? Maybe so he can keep an eye out for stolen government money. He certainly knows nothing about spiders. You mean him fake? Yes, Tano, I do. The American tarantula has a painful bite. But it's not poisonous or dangerous to man. He didn't even know that. Now where me find fake spider man? Follow my trail to the place I met him. Find out where he went after I left him. Let me do. He had a bag of beans tied on his horse. I split it open a little so they'd trickle out and make a trail. Old trick's still good. I'm going to the way station. You meet me here later. It's plenty clean, you might. Go get wood for the stove. I'm hungry. Bandido! No, you must not shoot. I'm not going to harm you. But Pedro ain't got nothing. I'm no outlaw, Pedro. 
I want to ask you some questions. Si, senor. How long has Professor Hagen been staying here? Two weeks, I think. And he's collected spiders all that oh, time? Oh, yes. Hundreds of them. My wife no like, but... Uh... Where's Mrs. Nelson? Who? The lady in the veil. Oh, la senora. She's in her room. The first one. Thank you, Pedro. <laughs> Yes? Who is it? The man who helped you this morning. May I speak to you? I... I'm dressing. It's quite important, Mrs. Nelson. Just a moment. Come in. Sorry to bother you, Mrs. Nelson. May I ask you something? I was just getting ready to go out. I... Allow me. Thank you. What was it you wanted to ask? About your fellow passenger. Oh, then you didn't succeed in trailing the outlaws. No, I didn't. Can you give me a better description of the man they abducted? I'm afraid I've told you all I know. I don't agree, Mrs. Nelson. You're hiding something. Well, what do you mean? For one thing, your face. And your hands. Do you always put on gloves before you put on your coat? How dare you? I'll apologize if I'm mistaken. But I don't think I am. Raise your veil, Mrs. Nelson. Why, I never... All right, you win. I might have known I couldn't fool you for very long. Who are you? Vic Mason, U.S. Deputy Marshal. Can you prove that? Sure, in a second. Oh, darned if I can see how women get along without pockets. Yeah. Oh, my badge is in that bag if you want to look at it. So you're trailing Silky Carter. Uh-huh. Why else do you think I'd be going around in a silly get-up like this? Was Silky in that coach? Yep. I could have kept them from taking him, but... They would have found out who I was. You see, legally, I can't touch Silky until he gets that money. Yes, I know. That's quite a disguise, Mason. Especially your voice. Well, I always could do tricks with my voice. Talk like that, or... Like this. Yes, Mrs. Nelson was doing all right until she met up with the Lone Ranger. You know me. That wasn't hard to figure. Mask, white horse, Indian named Tonto. What are your plans now, Mason? Have you got any suggestions? There's a man staying here by the name of Hagen. I have a hunch he's back of Silky's disappearance. Hey, what does he look like? Oh, medium height, bald, wears glasses he doesn't need. Why, that sounds like Doc. Who's he? A double cross and pal of Silky's. He's after the money. Couldn't they be in this together? Mm-mm. Silky won't share that money with anyone. And it'll take a lot to make him talk. Say, wait a minute. If Doc's staying here, he's got the room next to mine. Working together, we might... Uh, you will help me, won't you? Of course. What's your plan, Mason? You trail Hagen when he's outside. I'll watch him while he's here. If he breaks Silky down and heads for the money, we'll nab him. Yeah, sounds good enough. I'll be camped near the big rock on the hill. If you want me, signal with a mirror. And if you need me, send Tonto. All right? Right. I'll be going now. You just about saved this case for me, you know. Mason, I'm not interested in this as a case. I'm interested in getting the money back for the government. I'll be watching for your signal. You have this right in the face, you low-down filthy. Now, just a minute, Silky, or you're making a big mistake. You're in sure. a pig's eye. Your thugs made a mistake when they grabbed the wrong man. Oh, Silky, I can explain all... Shut up! The only reason I'm not killing you is because I can use you. Oh, you know you can always depend on me. I said shut up! Yeah, I can use you to help me get rid of a masked man called the Lone Ranger. A masked man? Half the guys in jail were there on his account. You're gonna fix it so I don't have him after me the rest of my life. Why, Silky, I... I saw that man only this morning. I know. He told me. He told you? Yeah, we're buddies. You see, I got this and the papers that go with it when you shot up that guy on the coach. He was a federal marshal. A lawman? That's right. What did you do with him? You won't have to worry about him, Silky. My boys have taken care of him. Good. Now, here's what we do. In the morning... Now, just a minute, Silky. What do I get out of this? For a double cross, you ought to get shot. 
But for helping me get rid of the Lone Ranger, I'll make you a deal. One fourth of the payroll. How do I know I can trust you? <laughs> you don't. But unless we work together, he's liable to get us and the money. Is it a deal? It's a deal. still say we've planted them too close to the cabin. Well, what's the difference? Come on, let's get out of here. Tato, what have you been doing? Me dig up grave. What? Me find outlaws in cabin. In back of cabin, me find new grave. Look. What about it? Look close, Kimasami. That best on man in grave. A woman. The sun faded the cloth except where he wore his badge. I'm beginning to understand. The man you found was a federal marshal named Mason. Silky Carter almost got away with his double masquerade. You find Silky? Yes, I found him. Then we take him to sheriff. Oh, it's not that easy, Tello. We've got to make them lead us to the money. Did the men in the cabin see you? No. Good. I've got a plan. Listen closely. Good morning. Howdy. What happened, Mason? They made silky talk. One of Hagen's men reported in last night. They're going after the money now, somewhere near Twin Rocks. Hagen's on foot. It can't be far. It isn't far. Say, where's the Indian? Well, he isn't here. We can wait if you think we can't handle this. No, we can't wait. Come on. Here they come. Let's go, but don't look back. says you're coming on all sides. What's the idea, Mason? And the boys in the pen said you were smart. I'm not Mason. Who are you? The man you've been looking for, you fool. Silky Carter. Shall I take that mask off? Now, wait a minute. Don't start anything till we got the dough. We're too close to the way station. That don't mean I won't shoot if I have to. You'll never get away with this, Carter. With you helping me, how can I miss? You're going to do some dirty work before I have the pleasure of taking off that mask. Keep him covered. Yeah, grab this pick. Yeah, you're gonna dig for money and dig your own grave at the same time. All right, start digging. You sure this is the right place? You don't think I'd forget, do you? You hit something. We've got it. Of course we got it. Come on, keep digging. All right, not one of you move. Drop your guns. I'll shoot the first one of you who tries anything. Say, what is this, a double cross? What did you expect, you fool? Listen, Silk, you can't do this to me. Who else wants to try? Oh, well, you're even dumber than this masked man here, thinking I'd split with you, you double crossing skunk. Silky, you walked into a trap. Yeah, if this is a trap, it's the kind I like. You're trapped like you were years ago on Thunder Mountain. What are you talking about? The sheriff from Kingston is on his way here now. He telegraphed the law in Sandville to close the road at that end. You're bluffing. I wasn't bluffing last night when I sent Pedro for the sheriff. You're crazy. You didn't even know who I was last night. I knew, Silky. But I had to hold off to let you lead me to the money. You're lying. It's the last lie you'll ever... Good 
work, Tonto. We'll tie them up and take them to the way station. So it was Mason's vest that told you Silky wasn't the lawman he claimed to be. Yes, but I pretended he had me fooled in order to locate the money. You took an awful chance. Not too big a one, Sheriff. Tonto had me covered most of the time. And I knew you were coming thanks to Pedro. You hear that, you might. Well, you sure did a bang-up job, not only recovering the government's money, but also rounding up these hombres. It's a murder charge against all three of you. You can't pin anything on me. He's the one that murdered Matt. And Crane killed the driver and the marshal. Why, you double-crossing rat, you gave the orders. Glad you were willing to talk, Hagen. But you're not weaseling that easy. I, uh... Well, they're gone. God darn it, I wanted to thank them proper. That masked man, what was his name? I don't know, senor. You mean you rode all the way to town for a man you don't even know? Well, I don't know his name, but I know who he is. He's the Lone Ranger. Hello, hello. <laughs>